The Rocky Mountains provide the backdrop in Boulder, Colorado, and if you're looking for the Buffaloes, they ain't hard to find. A couple of teams trying to stake their claim to being among the best in the country in this top 25 showdown we have in store. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off a of bye week, the Kansas State Wildcats. Taking on the winners of five straight, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Start us off. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So Kansas State's offense takes the field for the first time today. And here he comes, the guy who pulls all the strings in this attack. And I think what makes him so unique, he has such a good understanding of this offense, always seems to know what the answer is to the test. Always in control. The receivers know they're going. Makes the catch and a huge play on the left side. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. And why waste any time? Get right to it. The offense with a big play right out of the gate. And sending a clear message, Reese, they are going to take shots. They've got playmakers. They've got dudes that can get downfield and locate the football. I love the attitude right out of the gate. Johnson looking to throw. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. This is a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Starting to feel a little pressure. As they say, touchdown, first down, or get down. He gets down. Kansas State will have to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. The punt goes out of bounds, and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. So Colorado's offense has the ball for the first time. And they seem to believe that they can take big plays away and man coverage by just locking him up in this matchup, David. Yeah, and it's hard to lock down a great wide receiver, but a great defensive back versus a great wide receiver, we got a showdown. Yep. Taking a shot on the first play. He's got it down the left. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30 plus. Good pass protection isn't just offensive line, right? Running backs also have to be able to pick up the blitz. That running back did an outstanding job. That allowed his quarterback to just buy a little bit more time before making that throw. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. And the Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry-up. You know what I really like about games like this at this point in the season? You find out who you are. You find out whether you're going to stay in the race. And who can step up and handle the challenge, right? This is easily one of the toughest games to date for both of these programs coming into this one. So there's a lot of eyeballs, David, on this game to find out who's mentally and emotionally the toughest. Yeah, and we're going to point to this game as we get later in the year and big decisions are made. You've got a top 25 win. You beat them in the middle of the season, X, Y, and Z. So these are big for the resume. They'll run it on first and goal. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Dropping back, it's Sanders. And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. It's still third and goal. Brings up third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. 
and this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. And that's a great job by this defense. You don't care about yards anymore. Yards are arbitrary. Let them drive down the field, so be it. You want to keep touchdowns off the board, and they might have just done that with a sack right there. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. This try will come from the left hash, and he'll try to curl it in from 38. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it. So you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen, you set yourself up for a field goal. You knock it through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. Leaves it with the running back. Getting behind those pads and behind a stiff arm to get it out to the 27. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Little touch pass to the receiver. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Oh, and they get the ball back, but that's just going to make it much tougher on this drive. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. Steps away to find some room. Quarterback gets past the marker. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. And the Wildcats come to the line with a new set of downs. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Quick pass on the fly motion. Smashes through. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. The Wildcats have their offense in high gear. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And this one will be stopped for no gain. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Johnson wants to throw it. That one never had a chance. Incomplete. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. He'll pull it down and run. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. And he'll try to bang this one through from 52 yards out and the left hatch. Good right down the boulevard. And that's going to give us a tie ball game here in the first. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Hey, guys, got a final score in a big top 25 matchup. Penn State is going to enjoy the trip back to Happy Valley after a rock-solid performance. And you take care of business on the road, and you stack wins there in Beaver Stadium, and suddenly it's quite the resume. Each week in college football, the tests are just so tough. And we found that out again today, guys, with another ranked team going down. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now, they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Feeling some heat. Fires on the move. Can't make the connection. The pressure there caused the missed timing. After the misfire, now on second down. Back to throw. It's Sanders. Coming after him. 
And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. And the Buffaloes moving quickly to the line. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Pocket starts to collapse. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. And those outside linebackers nowadays, they're so fast. They got to cover ground. But you can blitz them off the edge, and they can get after quarterbacks. Versatile. That's why they're getting drafted so high in the NFL and getting paid all that money. The Buffaloes will bring the punt team onto the field. Looking for a block. It's Lockett. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Decent field position to start this drive from their own 33. They're going to test that run defense to the right here. Still on his feet at the 45. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. And here on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Looking to pass on second down. Dances away from the heat. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. And as quarterbacks, you've got to be aware of secondary pressure. You've got to know when these three safeties, they start creeping towards the line of scrimmage, that they might get involved. You've got to have an answer for it. QB didn't have one that time. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Johnson looking to throw. They're trying to get to it. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game. But finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. K-State sends the punt team onto the field, ready to boot it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. And that one will bounce and roll out of bounds. Let's see exactly where they mark it. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Quarterback on the keeper. It's these little moments like that that can help an offense as he gets it up to the 16-yard line. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry-up. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. And what moves this guy has. The jukes, the wiggles, the squirts just went right past him and picked up the first down. They'll run the option. Now the toss. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Offense lining up quickly. They try to pop a run on the draw. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. It's a draw. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. And the Buffaloes are moving quickly down the field. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You can throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the... And they got him for the sack. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. He finds a soft spot in the middle. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. Looking to throw at Sanders. Pressure coming. 
And he's feeling the heat, and he will go down. Final play of the first quarter, and not the way he wanted to end it. wanted to establish the run and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keep those vibes rolling here in the second. The Buffaloes will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Bringing it back, it's Lockett. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Here's the handoff. And the stiff arm was strong, but the defense was stronger, and they stop him for a short game. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Quickly out to the tight end. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. They're going to go to the air on third and short. Catch in the middle. It's Brown. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. Kansas State pushing the pace. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. Makes the tackle at the 31. It's a pickup of five on the play. Johnson wants to throw it. Moving away from pressure. Quarterback trying to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. This quarterback has to know he's got to get rid of the football quickly. This defense is already shown on film that they'll rush this outside linebacker off the edge and make the count five on their pass rush. But with his speed and his flexibility, he's too much for a lot of these offensive linemen to handle. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Grab in the backfield. It's Cephas. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. It is true as he puts three on the board. And with that, they've taken the lead. How nice is it as a head coach to have the kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his spot. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. On the run, it's Hayden. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He'll do it himself. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Back to throw, it's Sanders. He'll pull it down. Hard running there. At the 45 on his way. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up and he's 20, 30 yards down the field, and there's nothing you can do about it. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. The freshman able to get home with the sack. 
They got more sacks than a grocery store. Goodness gracious, time and time again, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground, this defense having their way. Got quite a ways to go to keep this drive going. It's third down from the 45. He's looking downfield to throw. Getting some heat. Going to try to get it himself. Good job to get everything he could, then get down with the slide. And the Buffaloes will punt this one away. They'll look to pin him deep. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. He wants to start this drive with a pass. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. Safe completion on the screen. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. The Wildcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He's got it on the right. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. They keep attacking through the air. Finds his man, it's Jackson. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. This Kansas State offense is moving quickly down the field. Power football with the run. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. From the gun, running back gets to give. Can't get him to the ground. And he uses a stiff arm to push his way past the sticks and pick up the first down. It's a first and 10 from the 42-yard line. Caught in the backfield, it's Cephas. Tackled almost immediately. They're well short of the first down. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Trying to get to it. Just too much of a rush. And down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. And how about the defense getting home with the pass rush? Playing man coverage in the back end. Need to win up front. Those guys got to get to the quarterback. Do a great job rushing the passer. I can play man when I got a pass rush like that. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. Johnson looking to throw. Buys a little time. Got room at the 35. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Kansas State quick to the line. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane opener, you don't sack him right away. You allow him to get outside the pocket. He is going to take off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back-like ability out in space. We've reached a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. He wants to pass it on second down. Finds his big tight end. Well, I think for that play to work, you need to have some access and cushion coverage. The receiver to be able to do something with it after the catch. That time, the defender was just way too close all over. Unleashes one deep. And he's got it. Touchdown, Kansas State. Wow, what a play. We got, we're going to need to see that again to make sure he makes this catch and gets the foot in bounds. That was a great acrobatic play, understanding where you're at on the field to make that big catch. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. It's good!
After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Got his man on the right. Moves it out to the 34-yard line. A nice 15-yard gain on that one. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. Looking to move it through the air. They're bringing heat. Blasted as he lets it go. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. To the air, it's Sanders. Feeling some heat. Quarterback all over the place trying to make a play, but eventually he goes down. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Takes the handoff. It's Hayden. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And the Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. Running it back, it's Lockett. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Shoots it to the left. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. Let's see which way they go after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 39. Coming after it. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. And I tell you what, if I'm this QB, I am ill as a hornet in my offensive line. Are you kidding me? That's the sixth time they put me on the ground. Dudes, will y'all protect me a little bit better, please? This is a third and long. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Going with the counter play here. Discards a man. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Right back to the well. And he's able to get some positive yardage before he's brought down, and that'll bring us to halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Boulder. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas at Folsom Field. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space. See if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend the Buffaloes want to move quickly it'll be a draw 
They finally make the stop at the big run. He's ready to move those sticks for the first down. And the Buffaloes come to the line with a new set of downs. Going up top on first down. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Pulls it in, it's Hunter. He makes the stop almost as soon as he catches it and they're short of the first down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield, he'll lose a couple. And you've already set your punter out four times. At least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. Back to throw, it's Sanders. Pocket starts to collapse. And he tried to string out that run, but there was nowhere to turn it upfield, and he's forced out of bounds for a loss. Gets it away, good distance, but more importantly, just the direction he wanted. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing, that get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going, then something can start to build. They'll throw on third and short. They're trying to get to him. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Kansas State will have to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. Slips through the line. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Here comes the offense on first down. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Picks up 15 yards on the play and an important first down. To the ground. He's got it again. And he jukes the first guy, made him miss, and picked up a few before being brought down. The big pickup on first down leaves him with second and one. The gift to the tailback. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. Wide out in motion. To the ground to try to pick up the first. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and 10. Knocked down, but not before he crossed into the red zone and picked up four yards down to the 17. To the ground with the back. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. It's as if the end zone has a no trespassing sign on it, but here a chance to score the first touchdown of the game. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. Makes the catch. And he wanted to score badly, but the defense wrestles him down at the two. He's going to the right, looking for a path to the end zone. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Colorado. Mono and mono, the offensive line gets it done, driving the defense back, creating an easy lane for that running back. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point puts them on top by one. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Alabama rolled to victory, flexing an offensive muscle that almost reminded folks of the record-setting team 
led by Mac Jones, Najee Harris, and Devontae Smith. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. They make the stop trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Toss sweep to the right. Breaks the tackle. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Four punts already, and they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. Johnson wants to throw it. Quarterback adapted. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. Goodness gracious, this is a master class, a clinic on how to get to the quarterback. The seventh sack of the game, are you kidding me? That's a season for some teams. They've lived in the backfield. K-State sends the punt team onto the field, ready to boot it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Creates a little room. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. The Buffaloes will hustle to the line. I tell you what, with this kind of success on the ground, I, I think you two knuckleheads could call plays. I mean, that's how easy it is for this offense right now. They got the ground game working. It's really easy. Now you can open up for other things, but you guys could even try your hand because they're dominating right now. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And that stiff arm is a weapon for this runner. He uses it and picks up a first down. They're going to ride this running back. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Going to the ground. They get him stopped after a two-yard gain. Ball is at the 17. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. A jet sweep pass. And the Buffaloes pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Leaves it with the back. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Gets it all the way down to the two-yard line. He was fighting for that end zone. Trying to punch it in. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Second and goal for this offense. Tries again to get it in. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. After getting nothing on the last snap, let's see if they try to run it in on third and goal from the one. Snag in the end zone! Touchdown, Bucks! Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. And it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. So the officials take a closer look and the replay booth will overturn the call. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. kick it away. 
on the move from inside his five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. They'll leave it with him. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the run, it's Giddens. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, going up top. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Man, this poor quarterback, he's got no time. You've got to protect your quarterback. You've got to find different ways to do it. Sometimes it's not working with four wide receivers. Maybe you bring in a couple tight ends, go max protection, more guys blocking, less guys in route, but you got to find something to have success. Kansas State will have to punt it away. Man, these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Catch in the middle, it's hard. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving and they've got it at the 45. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? This is what got this team in this position to win this game. Aggressive offense, taking shots. Here we are in the fourth quarter, they've got the lead. Why stop now? And the Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense, right? And the defense gets to the quarterback. The offensive line coach will be pulling his hair out. His head coach is okay right now because they're winning the game. But from an O-line standpoint, They've been atrocious in pass play. The Buffaloes will no, punt it away on fourth down. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. He'll bring it back. It's Lockett. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Now they'll try to cash in this drive. First and 10 from the 50. They'll go back to the ground. Bulls his way forward. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Kansas State really has this drive rolling. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Caught in the backfield, it's Swanson. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. On second down, he's looking downfield. And that's not the way they drew it up. It's incomplete. A third and long coming up here. Johnson looking to throw. The sweet feet buy a little time. Picks up what he can and then slides. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. It's good. 
And that's massive. All the pressure on your defense now. You've made the field goal. You've got to get the ball back. You need one more kick. That's what you need. And so the defense has to be ready to take the field right now, play with intensity, play with energy, and get it back to the offense quickly. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Might as well stick with him. And he is just engulfed at the line by this giant defensive tackle. And the Buffaloes want to crank the tempo. On the option. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. The give to the lone running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. And that's why quarterbacks take their offensive lines out for all-you-can-eat wings. Clean pocket, able to step up, scan the entire field, and pick the open receiver. And with the completion out to the sideline, they'll pick up a couple. A lot of urgency for this offense. Now they'll run it to the right here. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. And the Buffaloes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. And this is so frustrating. Late in the game when you've got to get the football back and you can't stop them. My goodness, this drive's been going play after play after play. This defense has got to find a way to bow up, make something happen, get a stop, and get the football back. They go to the ground. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Third down has been right in the wheelhouse on this drive. They've already converted a couple of times, but they need the full 10 yards now. Pressure coming. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And couldn't quite find the crevice he needed to pick up the first down. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Between the uprights, it's good. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Fresno State came away with the win today, but not in dominant fashion. In fact, the folks inside Bulldog Stadium had to sweat things out for much of the second half. Could have been better, but certainly could have been worse. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there, Kevin. Thanks for the update. Using his legs at Skiddens. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Just feeds the running back. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Johnson wants to throw it. Looking to scramble. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. K-State sends the putt team onto the field, ready to boot it away. 
and see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. On the move, it's Hunter. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yard to help out the oath. They'll try the run. Running with power. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. The Buffaloes in the hurry up. Late in football games, I have a plan. I want to run the football. I want to put my quarterback in great situations if I do throw it. Low risk. Keep that clock moving. Get a few first downs. And if I get a few first downs with that clock moving, I get the W and get out of here. Certain moments in the game you know are just a little bit bigger. Here's one of them. Big play coming on third and long. Getting some heat. Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. And the Buffaloes decide to punt it away. And that is textbook instructional video. Out of bounds right around the goal line. The give. I'm not sure he made it out of the end zone, and it is a safety. And that's a big-time play by this defense. When you need it the most in the fourth quarter, this game is super close, it's tight. Not only do you make a play and get a stop, you put points on the board and you get the football back with a chance to salt this football game away. That's how defenses step up late in games. Running it back, it's Miller. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on the heels. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. I'll be honest, man. If I had the weapons these guys had offensively, I'd be staying aggressive, too. It's what got them to this point. It's why they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Take some shots when those opportunities present themselves. Use the play fake, now to throw. Looking down the middle. Got his man downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. The inside handoff. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Calling a timeout here, you have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. The give to the back. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. You know, it's funny. In an age where there's so many college football analytics, and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down. At the end of the day, it still comes down to managing it. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. After putting up a three-spot, the kickoff unit set to go. And he takes this from inside the five. The really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. Let's it fly. He's got an open man. Oh, look out. There he goes. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. 
looking to go up top on first down. Hit as he throws. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Makes the grab. It's Giddens. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Now facing a third and long. He'll just keep slinging it. Fires deep on the run. And it was worth going for a chunk play, but the long pass is incomplete. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Takes a shot as he lets it go. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. Man, I love this guy's toughness. All game long, he's been getting hit. He's been sacked multiple times, and here we are late in the game. He's still staring down the barrel. Gets nailed, but is able to deliver a big completion for his offense. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He's got it on the run. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. They'll try to get it through the air. Skips away from pressure. And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, we've got a chance at a finish. If we had any chance to make this happen, we had to score with a little bit of time on the clock. Now we need a miracle. Now, now we need to kick the onside, get an onside kick, and somehow, some way, make a big play. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They put together an 81-yard drive. Now down by two, inside a minute to go. If they can get this onside kick, maybe they could get into field goal range. He's at the 40. Yeah, and this is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time. You, when you know it's coming and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football. The first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is over. We're at the midway point of the season, and after the showing they delivered today, this team is firing on all cylinders through Week 7. We've been talking a lot about this team, but you want to be remembered in the month of November. The most important part in the meat of this schedule now is coming up. You played well throughout the second half of the year. We're talking college football playoff potentially. Yeah, and, but you got to start somewhere, right? And I, and I like that they started strong, made it to Week 7 now. Yes, the, the rivalries are coming up and, and more important games are coming up. But you did what you needed to do to start the season. Now just keep that mindset and keep grinding. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.